standard second subject maths topic let's measure capacity hello children a very good morning to all i hope you all are fine and in good health today we are going to learn capacity do you know what is meant by capacity the amount that a container can hold is called its capacity children tell me how do we measure liquid very good we measure liquid in liters here we have five bottles of different sizes so their capacity to hold water is also different as we can see we have the smallest bottle having 330 ml of water and the biggest bottle which has 1.5 liters of water let us see another example in the picture we have a pot and a bottle so can you all tell me which vessel will hold more water yes very good the pot will hold more water as compared to the bottle because the pot is big in size and has more capacity than the bottle so the pot will hold more water let us now open our maths textbook to page number 62 and see what is given let's read the question color the box under the vessel which will hold more water here we are being given the picture of a coffee mug and a bucket which vessel will hold more water very good the bucket will hold more water so we will color the box which is below the bucket in this picture we have a glass and a cup so which vessel will hold more water yes the glass will hold more water so we will color the box which is below the glass here we have a conversation between two friends let us read yash and rama brought several different vessels from the kitchen they had a mug a bucket and a tumbler they used a cup to fill all these vessels with water yash yash is asking rama can you tell me which vessel holds the most water children look at the picture and you tell me which vessel will hold more water very good the bucket will hold more water rama says yes so after yes we will write bucket now rama is asking yash yash you tell me which vessel holds the least water so yash says the glass the glass holds the least water among all the vessels in the picture children on page number 63 we have two activities these two activities you will do as your homework i hope you all have understood the concept thank you